Hello again. Hot and sunny for the vast majority of the next few days with temperatures rising day by day, both by day but also by night. And this is the reason why high pressure is firmly in control of the UK's weather at the moment. Light winds, plenty of sunshine, temperatures rising each day. However, not everyone will be affected by the heat or the sunshine. The far north and northwest of Scotland once again seeing areas of cloud and an increased breeze during the rest of Wednesday with some rain turning up in the far northwest later. Otherwise, it's blue skies across the board and with those light winds, temperatures higher compared with the last few days. We're looking at fairly widely high 20s, low 30s and temperatures reaching 31 Celsius in Cardiff and London. Into the evening then and it stays warm, more sunshine to come for many, although it will turn wetter for a time across the Northern Isles, the Outer Hebrides as well, and perhaps into the far northwest of the mainland. But elsewhere, clear spells, apart from the east of England, where there will be some low cloud mist and fog turning up by the end of the night. And it's going to be a warm night. Temperatures in the high teens are fairly widely 15 to 17 Celsius, so uncomfortable for sleeping for many. Then a warm and sunny start for the vast majority, just some patchy low cloud for Northern Ireland and that low cloud and mist in the east of England clearing away, perhaps lingering around some beaches. More especially though for the north and northwest of Scotland, low cloud here and outbreaks of rain, uh, that edging into the mainland for a time, mostly affecting Caithness. But sunny skies elsewhere and as I mentioned, temperatures are rising day by day. So these are the kinds of temperatures we can expect on Thursday afternoon. It's not just southern areas that will be hot. 29 Celsius there for Aberdeen, 27 for Belfast, perhaps hotter in some other parts of Northern Ireland. And widely across England and Wales, low 30s. 33 Celsius, the expected high on Thursday. And we turn up a notch once again on Friday with temperatures expected to reach the low to mid 30s fairly widely. 35 Celsius a possibility somewhere around the Midlands, perhaps around Bristol area. And uh, southern Scotland 26 Celsius, but I think the northeast perhaps a little cooler. Could be some low cloud or mist affecting these areas. And then into Saturday, another day with widely low 30s across much of England and Wales and 35, possibly even 36 Celsius in one or two spots across central parts of England. Again, a bit cooler there for the east of Scotland, northeast England as well. So some relief from the heat if you don't like that sort of thing for the north and northeast, but fairly widely temperatures well above average elsewhere. And whilst many people, especially if you're on holidays at the moment, can enjoy this kind of heat safely, it's worth bearing in mind that UV levels are very high, it's easy to get dehydrated in this kind of heat, and the hot air isn't for everyone. It's important to look out for vulnerable people, and that's why we've got this extreme heat warning. The temperatures this week and into the weekend won't be nearly as high as we saw in July when the temperature reached 40 Celsius, but this hot spell is going to be longer lasting both by day and by night. So worth paying attention to health advice, especially if you know of people who are vulnerable to these kinds of temperatures and we'll keep you updated on social media.